The word kilogram is made with the prefix kilo and the unit gram. The prefix kilo stands for 1,000, so a kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. Another example, the prefix centi means one one-hundredth, so a centimeter is one one-hundredth of a meter. Here's a table of some common SI prefixes that we use. Each prefix has its own symbol or abbreviation. For example, kilo is lowercase k and centi is lowercase c. And notice as you go up, the numbers get bigger, and as you go down, the numbers get smaller. And just a quick side note here. You may have realized that in the list of SI units that we covered, the SI unit for mass is the kilogram rather than the gram. The reason for that is some historical thing involving some king from the 1700s, not important, but it's interesting to note that the unit for mass is the only SI unit that uses a prefix, and the rest are just regular units. Okay, so let's try an example of converting between units with prefixes. Let's convert 250 grams to kilograms. We know that one kilogram equals 1,000 grams from our table. And so first, we'll write our starting amount, 250 grams. Next, we write that equal amount, that relationship. And since we already have grams on top, we're going to write out that new relationship with grams on the bottom so that we can cross out grams. Next, we multiply 250 times one kilogram to get 250 kilograms. And we only have 1,000 with no units on the bottom. 250 divided by 1,000 equals 0 0.25. So 250 grams equals 0 0.25 kilograms. 